What up, potheads? I'm Henry, and this is Blaze the Roof. Today we're going to be reviewing a sauce out of Ohio called El Chupacabra from Kajan's Hot Sauce Company. A little bit about Kajan's. Uh, Kajan was started by a guy named John Hard. He's basically considered the godfather of the hot sauce industry. He's been in, he's been in it for 22 years uh, until the company was obtained by, uh, what is it, Hot Shots uh, in 2020 uh, and now it's under the United Sauces website uh, but before that Kajans was its own entity right so uh, a little bit about uh, Kajans it's out of Westerville Ohio Westerville Ohio is basically a suburb of Columbus Ohio which is the capital of Ohio Ohio is the 25th state that we're reviewing a sauce from so we're at the halfway point there folks um, so a little bit about Ohio uh, as a state, right? Um, first of all, Columbus was the home of the first Wendy's. Uh, it was also almost called Ohio City, but for some reason they named it Columbus. I'm not sure if it's after Christopher Columbus or not, but... And uh, the NHL team from there, the Columbus Blue Jackets, are actually called the Blue Jackets due to the fact that uh, Columbus made uh, the uniforms for the Union soldiers... The Blue Jackets, right? Uh, if you're unfamiliar with the Union, they were the winners of the Civil War, not like the Confederate losers. Anyway, um, also Columbus has a thriving uh, LGBTQIA plus community, so uh, very progressive. Again, Columbus is a college town, again, home of Ohio State, so you're, you're going to get a lot more progressive ideas there as opposed to probably the rest of the state, which I believe. Uh, anywho, uh, famous people from Columbus include Michael Philip Thomas. I'm sorry. Philip Michael Thomas, who played Tubbs on the original Miami Vice show. Uh, also, Beverly D'Angelo. Such a minx, right? And uh, Simone Biles, who is probably the best gymnast that's ever lived. Although there's, although there's this young girl coming out from UCLA that seems to be pretty incredible as well. Uh, but again, Simone's still the best right now, right? Uh, the Bear, Jack Nicholas, uh, who's the title holder for uh, most majors in golf. Uh, Busy Bone from uh, Bone Thugs and Harmony. Not one of my favorite groups, but it had friends that were really into him growing up. Howard Jones. No, not that guy. Not the new wave guy. Uh, we're talking about the singer from Kill Switch Engage, or former singer now. He's the second and then now former singer. And then uh, Joe Walsh from the Eagles, who was actually probably my favorite of the Eagles. So let's look at the packaging now. Now, it's very simple, right? El Chupacabra. And in case you didn't know, El Chupacabra is a mystic, well, mystical creature that supposedly sucks the blood from goats. Chupacabra meaning suck goats. Uh, and so, yeah, this little scary creature on, on the label. Aside from that, it's real simple. It's a green label and not much else, right? I mean, you just see the Kajans there. Uh, on the label it says, uh, the deadly Chupacabra is a legendary cryptid rumored to inhibit parts of the Americas. This namesake sauce is a blend of super hot Caribbean chilies, each of whose leg legendary burn is greater than 1 million Scoville heat units. Can you handle this beast? It won't kill you, but you might wish it did. Fun. <laughs> Very fun. All right, so let's look at these ingredients, right? Uh, I already actually caught them in a lie, but so distilled vinegar, uh, jalokia pepper mash, right? That's ghost pepper, uh, yellow scotch bonnet pepper mash. That is not over a million Scoville, so they're already lying on the label here. Uh, but scotch bonnets are probably my favorite peppers. Uh, and then Trinidad scorpion pepper mash, uh, mustard, carrots, onions, scorpion pepper powder granulated garlic and xanthan gum that's interesting because this actually had a lot of separation in it even though it's got xanthan gum in it that's to keep it from separating so maybe it doesn't have that much in there that's interesting i didn't i didn't think there was any in there it was pretty pretty separated when i first uh pulled the bottle out so all right so as far as the uh so this week, we're actually going to have a featured ingredient. It's going to be distilled vinegar. Uh, distilled vinegar is essentially just diluted acetic acid, right? 
Uh, acetic acid is usually a byproduct uh, from aging of ethanol and oxygen, right? It's a fermentation, and you get uh, vinegar as part of the process, right? Uh, it's usually diluted. Uh, pure acetic acid is diluted to about 5 to 8%. And... Um, basically distill just means that it's a pure a pure version of it but uh traces of it was found in egyptian urns um not sure how or why but uh there are traces of it found it's uh, commonly used in food prep and pickling of course right so you get vinegar for pickles or you know pickled peppers or whatever you pickle right <laughs> so before we get any further though, let's hear from this week's sponsor. The chupacabra is a monster that may or may not exist. It sucks the blood out of goats and cattle. That's some scary shit. You don't want to end up like them, right? Well now you can feel safe with Chupacadabra, the chupacabra repellent spray. Sure, we've never actually seen a chupacabra, but why even take the chance? The key is that it makes you not smell like a goat. Never test it for efficacy. Not safe to use on livestock. Now for the moment of truth. It smells like vinegar and pepper. wish I could get hints of garlic or anything else, but maybe there's a touch of that, but it's mostly just pepper and vinegar. So the uh, the fact that this has mustard in it and it's not a, ye a yellow sauce kind of has me a bit worried. <laughs> that means that there's probably a lot of pepper in this. So this might be a pretty hot one. Again, I don't have the SHUs on this. Well, a lot of these sauces are really hard to find the actual SHUs on. But, I mean, it's pretty consistent with any other, like, uh, habanero or ghost pepper sauce, you see. They tend to you like the red ones, so you're, you're going to get a reddish-orange sauce like this. And again, this has ghost pepper, scorpion pepper, and scotch bonnets, so... I'm expecting a really slow big burn at the back of my tongue but probably be very flavorful let's see if we could taste anything else in there here it goes <clears throat> so it does have initially a very sour flavor that's the vinegar. Kind of hits really hard at the beginning. And you get the vinegar at the, the front of the tongue. And then you get the heat in the back of the tongue. It's not, a, it wasn't a slow of a buildup. It was kind of sour. And then a second later, boom, the heat. Whew. This is an upper middleweight. I'm not quite ready to throw it into the the heavyweight. <clears throat> so it was diluted a lot by the vinegar. And again, you tasted the vinegar. Pretty pronounced. It was pretty pronounced. Did not taste anything else aside from, of course, like salt. Salt and garlic. That was it. Couldn't taste the carrots. So just vinegar, peppers, and spices. Which is the majority of what this sauce is made of anyway. Yeah, it's an upper middleweight. If I had to guess the HUs, uh, the SHUs would probably be around 70,000. They weren't quite up into the, the six digit level. But uh, still packs a little bit of a punch. Sweating just a little bit. So it does bring heat. It's very flavorful sauce, and again, due to the fact that it's uh, probably a lot more sour and salty, you could probably use it more like a traditional hot sauce. 
So even though this one packs a bit of a punch, I could see it being used like for breakfast. It's almost like Tabasco, like not Tabasco, but like Louisiana sauce with the vinegary and the sour and the saltiness of that, but with extra heat and flavor. I would say that's more like what this is like. Um, again, not a beginner sauce, but definitely a sauce that I could use on, it's pretty versatile. I would probably use this on all sorts of, uh, you know, uh, pork. Uh, I just made some tacos al pastor uh, in my oven. <laughs> so uh, I would probably use it on that. Uh, I would use this on chicken, um, beef dishes, vegetable. I, I, I think you use it on anything, breakfast. I may also made a breakfast frittata, so I'll probably use this tomorrow morning whenever I eat. So, all right, um, flavorful sauce. Uh, it did not kill me, as the label says, and but luckily I don't wish that it did kill me either. It's a bearable sauce, but it packs a punch, and so Kajans obviously knows what they're doing, and so I hope that. You know the company that bought them continues on their the recipe and keeps them keeps it uh, intact, right? So when I bought this, might have been around the time that it was purchased. So very good though. Definitely, I, I want to try some of the other sauces now. But the chupacabra really stood out to me. And again, uh, you know, you, you don't, you know, it's not every day that you see a sauce made about a a mythical creature that's out there, you know, killing livestock. So pretty cool. So next week, we're going to be reviewing a sauce out of Maryland called Caulfield uh, Provision. It's going to be their uh, smoky chipotle. Uh, red, yeah, smoky red pepper chipotle. So it'll probably be more of a smoky uh, red sauce. Should be interesting, though. Um, you know, I like chipotle sauces, so. Uh, thank you for stopping in. Once again, I'm Henry, and remember, spice up your life. Take care.